Good morning, readers. Today we are working on retelling the story. In a minute, we're going to take a little picture walk and revisit the book, Go Away Socks. But before we do, let's just take a little look at this. It will help guide us as we take our picture walk by giving us some ideas of information to look for. So in a retelling, it's always good to start with the title of the book. I read the story. And then we always talk about the characters. Who was the story about? And then to get the reader really interested and want to read this book with you, it's good to say what happened in the story and list some events. So let's take a picture walk back in the book, Go Away Socks. Okay. What was this book about? Who remembers? It was a hot day, right? And what did Rosa want to do? She wants to fill up the bird bath for the birds, right? But then what happened? Uh-oh, who's looking? Who's checking out those birds? Socks, naughty socks. He sees those birds. And what do you think he might do, right? He might try to jump in that bird bath. Do you remember then what they decided to do? First, Dad walked over, and the bird flew away, and Sox hid. And then Rosa got mad at Sox and said, You're being very naughty. Please go away. But Sox hid in the leaves. So Rosa came up with an idea. She said, Dad, let's move that bird bath closer to the house. That way, the birds will see socks. Right? So they did that, and what happened? The birds were happy and safe, and they were splashing around in the bird bath. And where was socks? Socks was not bothering those birds anymore. Dad said, You were so smart to do that. Now the birds are safe. Socks is quiet and happy and home, right? Okay, so let's fill this in. I read the story. What was the story called? Who remembers the title? Go Away Socks. And readers, titles are so important that we always underline them. Who was the story about? It was about who? Who were the main characters? Rosa and Dad, right? And what did Rosa want to do? Rosa wanted to set up a bird bath. So watch what I do here. I'm going to take some of the words from the question. I'm going to turn it into a sentence. The story was about Rosa, she wanted to set up a bird bath for the birds on a hot day. Now what happened? Tell me what happened in the book. Okay, what happened first? First, Rosa, she had to fill the bird bath, right? Filled the bird bath with water. But what happens? A bird was splashing, right? And then what happens? Then socks came. Was Rosa afraid that socks might try to get the bird? Right. Let's add that. Rosa was scared. Socks may try to get the bird. So, what did Rosa do? She asked Dad for some help. What did they do? Rosa 
and her dad moved the bird bath close to the house. Right? Rosa and her dad moved the bird bath close to the house. So what? So socks couldn't scare the birds. Wow. Let's reread this, readers. This looks like a great retelling. I read the story, Go Away Socks. The story was about Rosa. She wanted to set up a bird bath for the birds on a hot day. First, Rosa filled the bird bath with water. A bird was splashing in the water. Then, Socks came. Rosa was scared Socks may try to get the bird. Rosa and her dad moved the bird bath close to the house so Socks couldn't scare the birds. Wow, amazing job, readers. Today you were readers and writers. You retold the story. You gave the title. You said who the story was about. And you gave some details of the events that happened in the story. And you know what, readers? You can do this in any book that you read. So today when you go off, I want you to try doing that. I want you to say, after you're done reading the book, I want you to try naming the title, say who the story was about, and then give some events that happened in the story. Try saying what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Do you think you can do that? I think you can. Okay, readers, go give it a try, okay? All right, off you go.